Italy's aircraft situation is tenuous to say the least. Italy has neither a tier 7 fighter nor a tier 6 strike aircraft. Today I hope to rectify the situation by suggesting some strike fighters and attackers Italy could have. This Gaijin did confirm that minor Axis nations will be added under Italy, I'll also include some of them in here. For minor nations like Romania and Hungary that use Soviet equipment, I'll avoid copy-paste like the IL-28 for Romania. However, if it's a Soviet aircraft currently not in game, such as the SE-22M3 for Hungary, I might include them. Unlike the other how to implements, I wouldn't go in depth for each vehicle. For aircraft that serve with the Italian Air Force, we can start with the Air Mackie MB339. Ordered as a replacement for the MB326, which in itself can be a baby G91 with its two SS-12 missiles, the MB339 is a trainer and light attack aircraft that entered service with the Italian Air Force in the 1970s. It was powered by a non-afterburning Rolls-Royce Viper Mark 632 engines giving it a top speed of 898 kilometers per hour. It had no radar, it had RWR and could fit countermeasures. Guns weren't integrated, but the MB339A could carry 12.7mm gun pods and wing hardpoints. A single upgrade program, the MB339K Valtrum II, allowed it to carry the 30mm DEFA gun and gun pods in conjunction with Sidewinders and Matramagics in similar configuration with the Saab 1050E. There also exists an upgrade from New Zealand. The MB339CB which carried the Maverick and M9L Sidewinder on top of laser range finding equipment. The MB339 could appear in three variants. The MB339A with only the 12.7 gun pods, AIM-9B, SNEB rockets, and general purpose bombs. The MB339K Veltro II with a 30mm DEFA gun pods, magic missiles, SNEB rockets, and general purpose bombs. This variant I prefer should be a tier 6 premium when Italy starts getting tier 7s. And the final variant is the MB339CD with AIM-9L Sidewinders, AGM-65 Maverick, general purpose bombs, and SNEB rockets. The MB339CD is probably best placed at tier 7. The next aircraft is interesting because it's essentially a NATO version of the Yak-130 trainer, the Alenia Air Maki M346 Master. The M346 Master was born from the same program as the Yak-130 until the Russians split with the Italians, developing the Yak-130 from technologies they put in during the program. The M346 Master is powered by two Honeywell F124 GA200 engines, reaching a top speed of 1,090 km per hour without afterburners. The M346 Master is perhaps the zenith of all Italian trainers, with avionics modeled after the Gripen. It's capable of using a helmet-mounted sight with night vision device capability, data link, missile approach warning system, chaff and flares, and radar warning receivers. The M346 Master can fire the Iris-T and the AIM-9L Sidewinder. The M346 can also carry targeting pods to guide laser-guided bombs and missiles. It can also carry two 12.7 gun pods and general-purpose bombs as well as unguided rockets as part of more rudimentary ordnance. The M346 FA is worthy of a tier 7 strike fighter for Italy. Israel has also procured the M346 in its capacity as a trainer, although the Israel used two AIM-9L sidewinders for wing loading tests, however it was never fired. A third aircraft is perhaps the most popular suggestion for Italian strike fighters, the AMX International AMX. Like the previous aircraft, this was conceived as a strike fighter from the ground up. The Brazilian government participated in the AMX International project as a way to replace their MB336. The AMX was fitted with a Rolls-Royce Pay 807 non-afterburning engine which puts out a max speed of 1053 km per hour. The AMX is equipped with a ranging radar but no search and track radar, a warning receiver and chaff and flare dispensers. There are two variations in existence, one built for Brazil and one built for Italy. The Italian AMX utilizes a 20mm M61 Vulcan gun with 350 rounds. The Brazilian AMX was slated to carry the same gun, but the United States denied the sale of the M61 to Brazil, as the Brazilian AMX instead used two DEFA 554 30mm guns. The Italian AMX carries same 9 Sidewinders, and the Brazilian AMX carries the MAA-1 Piranha AAM. The MAA-1A is a Brazilian air-to-air missile with seeker similar to the 9L, 
in an aerodynamic configuration similar to the Python 3. According to data released by Mechtron, it can maneuver up to 50G but this is disputed. For ground ordnance, the Italian AMX can carry the suite of NATO's laser-guided bombs using a targeting pod fitted underneath a fuselage. It can also utilize unguided rocket pods and general-purpose bombs. Brazilian AMX can do the same, albeit it can also fire the Mar-1 anti-radiation missile. There are talks of the Italian AMX carrying anti-ship missiles such as the Exocet and the Cormoran, however this is disputed. The AMX is fit for a tier 7 attacker for Italy and the Brazilian AMX can be foldered with it. At the last strike aircraft for Italy, the AV-8B. The McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II is the final evolution of the Harrier jump jet family. Italy expressed interest in the original Harrier. However, the Navy was prohibited from operating fixed-wing aircraft until the late 1980s when they then ordered the AV-8B Plus aircraft. The AV-8B Harrier II Plus is an upgrade on the night attack AV-8Bs which in itself is an upgrade on day attack AV-8Bs. This includes forward-looking infrared to supplant the NVD capability of the AV-8B and a replacement of the angle rate bombing system with the APG-65 Pulse Doppler radar giving the AV-8B capability to fire AMRAMs. The AV-8B is equipped with RWR and chaff and flare dispensers. The AV-8B replaces the Eden cannons with the GAU-12 25mm rotary gun with 300 rounds of ammunition. It can fire the AIM-9L Sidewinder and the AIM-120 AMRAM which can be omitted in the meantime. For ground ordnance, it can carry four AGM-65 Mavericks and the AGM-122 sidearm which can also be omitted while anti-radiation missile mechanics aren't in game. It can carry Hydra or APKWS rockets, general purpose, JDAM, and laser guided bombs guided by a lightning pod. In my opinion, the AV-8B is still not ready for the Italian tree considering the scope of its capability. The AV-8B is a very capable radar taken from early F-18s which would be fine if the AIM-120 would be emitted. While the AV-8B in the US tree would be fine since it's just... It's just... The radarless early AV-8B, the Italians only had the AV-8B Plus in service which means the radar is included. I'm perfectly fine with shelving the AV-8B Plus until it's ready as long as the previous entries will be added eventually. Now we move on to the nation that the Italian tree already has some vehicles. Romania. The IAR-81C is already the premium tree for Italy which means we can discuss Romanian strike aircraft to be added in the Italian tree. For the first aircraft, the Aero L-39 Albatross. This check trainer and light attacker served extensively with the Romanian Air Force in many variants. The variant we are concerning ourselves with is the L-39ZA Albatross. The L-39ZA is an extensive upgrade to the L-39ZO which allowed a higher payload, mounting for a GSH-23L gun pod under the fuselage and the capability to fire R-13 and R-60 missiles. However, the issue with the L-39ZA carried over from its predecessor where it was impossible to carry a full payload, two crew, and full fuel on the same engine, the AL-25. For bombs, it can carry the BE-50 to BE-250 Romanian bombs on its four hard points as well as unguided rockets. In War Thunder, just to make the L-39ZA realistic, the engine can give the fuel load or the hard points of the aircraft. Or they can also leave it as is since no one would use fuel, full fuel load on a non-afterburning aircraft like the L-39ZA. And if they do, they just fall out of the sky. Either way, the L-39 is just as light as light gets. So let's move on to more capable but still light attack aircraft. The IAR-99 was originally conceived as a lead-in trainer for the IAR-93. But Israel upgraded it into what is known as the IAR-109. However, potential sales were blocked and it was reverted to the IAR-93 standard. Most of its upgrades would end up in the IAR-99 Swayam upgrade which fitted the aircraft with an HMD, countermeasures, and RWR. It was fitted with the Rolls-Royce Viper 632-41M engines outputting 17.8 kN and a top speed of 865 km per hour. The IAR-99C has the GSH-23L gun pod underneath the fuselage with 200 rounds. A laser designator pod can be installed in its place for such operations. It can fire the Python 3, R60, and magic missiles on its outer rails. 
The wing pylons can carry 50 kilograms, 100 kilograms, and 250 kilogram Romanian bombs, as well as the Mark 82 general purpose bomb. It can also carry the O for infrared guided bombs, as well as laser guided bombs. The IAR 99C would be a very neat tier 6 or tier 7 attacker if ever full implementation of Romania and the Italian tree would commence. We now move on to the aircraft that use the IAR 99 as a train, the IAR 93. The IAR 93 is a Romanian built Soko J 22 Orau for use with the Romanian Air Force. Both countries agreed on utilizing the Rolls Royce Viper 632 41 engines, but after burning variants would not be available until the late 80s. Hence, the IAR-93 was introduced in three variants. The IAR-93A with a non-afterburning Viper 632-41. The IAR-93MB which was an interim variant with the fuselage of the IAR-93B but retained the Viper 632-41 of the IAR-93A. And the final variant, the IAR-93B with the upgraded fuselage and afterburning Viper 633-47 engine. The data on the IAR-93 avionics are sparse, but if we were to believe that the J-22 Orau uses virtually the same avionics, the IAR-93 should have RWR, as the J-22 has the SO-1 Iskra RWR, Chaffin Flare Dispensers. It's armed the GSH-23L under the fuselage with 200 rounds. It can fire the R-13 and R-60 for air-to-air -air ordnance. The ground ordnance consists of the Russian S-5, S-8, and S-13 rockets, 100 kg to 500 kg bombs, and the KH-23 Grom. The after the non-afterburning versions can be below 10.0, while the IAR-93B can be in the same BR as the Jaguars. Finally, the next probable nation for implementation in the Italian tree. As the tall D2A is already in the ground forces tree, it's not a stretch of the imagination that Hungarian aircraft will be added as well. The Hungarians utilize mostly Soviet equipment, hence a good top tier strike aircraft for Italy would be the Su-22M3. Essentially the same as the Su-17M2 in game except with capabilities to take targeting pod under the fuselage to guide the KH-25ML and KH-29L more efficiently. Aside from that, the equipment should be similar to the Su-17M2 unless the KH-58 anti-radiation missiles are eventually added. Hard be it for me, I think this is the easiest add-on to the game as it's practically a copy-paste job and Gaijin loves their copy-paste jobs. So that's about it for possible strike aircraft choices for Italy. There's so much in store for Italy, but it's just a matter of actually implementing them. Italy has more cast choices such as the MB-336, but that's in the same weird purgatory as the FUGT-1, and so I was divided on including it. Most of the aircraft I mentioned are passed to the developers, so it's just a matter of decades before the aircraft will be added. Hang in there. This is the Dr. MD. Vafanculo!